Hey, Dee Dee. Hey, man. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for coming on. Absolutely. My pleasure. Yes, sir. So, Cisco has some major announcements here at Cisco Live. You want to talk about something else? That's right. That's right. So, I'm really excited. We made a whole bunch of announcements around our data center technology. As you know, data center is a very critical part of Cisco's overall portfolio. Um, the data center business has got many different components. You've got the data center network bits, you've got storage, compute, security, software. Um, and so we packaged all of the announcements from these individual product lines into this big announcement that we're calling Data Center Everywhere. And so that's going to be the showcase of Cisco Live Barcelona this year. And we're, uh, we're showing a lot of our cool technologies. Awesome. So when you said Data Center Everywhere, you're extending this into the cloud, like AWS and Microsoft Azure. That's right, that's right. Yeah, so in the in the past, you know, 10 years or so, you know, there's a small little thing called cloud that's happened, right? <laughs> and and what is, what's happening is our customers are kind of um, faced with this tough choice, whether to keep running, operating the data centers that they've had for the past two or three decades, or be able to leverage all of the power and the wonders of the public cloud like AWS and Azure and Google and, and so many others. Um, so what we've done is actually created a bridge between the on-premise data center and the public cloud. Um, we call that technology ACI Anywhere, which is our networking solution. And so previously ACI was only applicable to the on-premise data center. Well now that same policy, the same segmentation, automation, security can also be applied to workloads that are in AWS and in Azure. Okay. And so that's kind of the big announcement from the networking side. Um, the other big announcement was around, um, you know, around our hyper-converged portfolio. Um, and on that one, we actually gone the other direction, which is Hyperflex was previously only, or hyper-converged solutions were previously only deployed within your data centers. But today we're seeing new applications, new workloads, and a lot of data being created at the edge, in the remote sites, at the branch locations. So Hyperflex is now available anywhere as well, which is, you know, uh, on these branch locations. So those are the two big pieces of news today. So what does this mean for businesses and customers? So what's happening is, you know, data is continuing to become more and more distributed, right? If you think about it, previously data was only in the data center, which is why we called it data center. But today we've got data on our watches, in our toasters, refrigerators. We got data in the sensor in the middle of uh, the Pacific Ocean. All the way to there's so much data, as you know, about all of us in public clouds. But not just personal data, but also company data. So what we're seeing is this data is becoming more and more distributed. Right. And IT teams are struggling to keep up with, you know, how do you manage all of these different locations as one? Because with data being more distributed, it is adding complexity right. in terms of management. So, um, so you need a vendor, you need a solution that can not just do it only for networking or only for security or only for storage, but actually look at the whole picture. And uh, that's what Cisco just announced you know, today. Okay, so what does this mean for those working in the data center like network engineers? Yeah, so look, the moment you put a workload in AWS, you've essentially extended your enterprise network into the cloud, right. right? But what happens when you move a workload into the cloud, you lose a lot of that visibility, you lose a lot of that control. Um, so network engineers now need to kind of rethink that their network is not just the network which they own or they control on a day-to-day -day basis. Being able to see what's happening into the network inside these public cloud locations that's also under the domain of the network engineer. Right. And so how do you do this in a consistent way, in a holistic way, you know, segmentation, automation, how do you do it end to end? Um, I think it's a great opportunity for, for network engineers to learn you know, about these new advancements. Um, but it does come at, um, I would say it does need network engineers to learn a little bit more about how the network operates within right. the public cloud. Right, so when can we expect um, these new innovations to roll out? So, um, so on the ACI anywhere, there's, we're integrating with multiple cloud vendors, right? It's part of our big multi-cloud strategy. Um, the ACI Anywhere integration with AWS is going to go out in March nice. of 2019, and then um, the integration with Azure will be available around the middle of the year. And, uh, and there's more to follow with you know, Google and IBM and Oracle and all the other cloud vendors. Great. So for 2019, what else can we expect from Cisco? 
lots of good stuff. I wish I could tell you all of it, you know, right now. Um, but look, there's, like I said, there's innovation happening in the clouds, yes. right? There's innovation happening at the edge of the enterprise. Right. And if there's one thing that connects it all, it is the network. Right. It, you know, it sees everything, the network doesn't lie. Um, we're also seeing radical changes in applications themselves. Today, there's applications that are, that are born and die in less than a second. So, you know, that one second could be the time when an attacker comes in, right? So we're, we're going to continue innovating around networking, around security, to support these new workloads, to support new, you know, users and their devices, as well as all of these new, uh, you know, innovations that the cloud vendors are bringing out. I'm excited. I'm, I'm really loving what I'm hearing, coming from Cisco right now, and in the past as well, but right now with everything, with ACI everywhere. That's right. And SD WAN. That's right. IoT. That's right. It's just a tight time for Cisco. Absolutely. Yes, thank you, man. Thanks, Mon. Thanks for having me. Yes, sir. See you guys. <laughs>